Hi, and welcome to your daily dose of Diana. We have a lot in store this episode and I'm very excited to get going, but I did wanna bring out some morning affirmations that I used to do in my podcast with you. So if you've never done a morning affirmation before, this may seem a little startling, but just repeat after me, okay? I love you, Diana. Don't say my name, say your own name. Let's do it again. <laughs> I love you, Diana. I am strong. I am confident. I am beautiful on the inside. I attract abundance into my life. I am worthy. I am deserving. I am enough. I just wanted to throw in a good vibe, good repeat after me energy. It sets up your whole day. So it's so important to take that time for just yourself. You know, I love you. Okay. Now I'm going to jump into a get ready with me makeup moment because a lot of you have been asking about my lip combo. As you know, I keep my makeup the same every single day. Every single day I keep my makeup the same. So everyone wants to know about this lip combo and I'm ready to give it to you. Roll the tape. I am a creature of habit and I basically use the same products on my face. Like once I know they look good, once I'm receiving about 20 compliments a day, no, I'm just kidding, but I say a lot of compliments to myself in my head. Anyways, I will stick to the same ones. So I use the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0, and I also use the Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner from Tarte in Honeysuckle. And then I looked at the colors today. I've never made this connection before. I'm pretty sure they are the exact same. I think they're the exact same color, just different brands, but I love them. Today, let's use Tarte because it was in my right hand. And I lit line. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Da -da 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 -da. Cute. It just goes on super smooth, which is why I really like it. Stunning. There is a TikTok trend right now that says you should oval your lips. I'm not about that. It looks not even right now, but just you wait. Just you wait. You have to trust the process. And then this is the lipstick. I made this lipstick with my mom. It's, it's actually called Mama Marie. So this is my mom's lipstick brand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, it's giving overline. Lips done. And then I just add a cutie little Fenty Beauty gloss. It's giving extra shine. It's giving the sparkling queen of the moment. Give me a kiss. I always just jump to the super aggressive. I don't really have an in-between, so. <laughs> but I love it, this is my favorite lip combo. And let me finish up my eyes and then I'll meet you all in Deanna's closet. Welcome to Deanna's closet. I am wearing my best friend's dress Leah M. Ryder, she designed this dress with Jessica. I am so proud of her. It was recently her birthday. I just spent her birthday with her and she is an angel sent from above. Like I don't even know the right words to describe Leah, but she's one of those people that I met her and within our first conversation, I was like, you're gonna be in my life for the rest of my life. You know those people there, we call them soul sisters, the people that are in your soul circle, you know? One time Leah and I were in San Diego and we're sitting by the pool and this waitress comes up to us and was like, you know, you two were supposed to meet. You are soul circle sisters. And we were like, we think so too. We think so too. And it was just crazy that that kind of connection can be recognized by like a stranger, you know? <sighs> Again, I can't say enough amazing things about Leah and this design. Now, I love Leah, but I would be honest with you guys if she designed something and I'm like, oh, it's not right. This fits every body type. It's so flattering, it's so beautiful. Look at the gorgeous sleeves here. We have this beautiful like heart square neck cut right here at the, at the top. It's so nice. It's so nice. Oh, I, I love this dress so much. You could dress it up, you could dress it down for a more casual springtime dress, Easter wedding guest. I love it so much. And I also love the brand Jessica. They are extremely size inclusive and they have so many dresses. Before I even heard about Jessica, I ordered a long pink velvet Jessica dress that had like a beautiful train. <gasps> That's the dress I was wearing when my boyfriend asked me out for the first time a year ago. Can you believe? <laughs> 
But I, I love the brand. They, they make very good quality material stuff. And I wanted to brag about Leah, which leads me to the outfit of the day, the OOTD, the OOTADA. She's giving a floral little flower blooming from the ground. She's giving milkmaid buns a back it up, back it up. Oh, back it up, back it up. Peep the shoe, move it forward, move it over. Peep the shoe. This girl and Leah M. Ryder is a 10 out of 10. I love you, Leah. Check out her line, it's amazing, and it'll make you look and feel beautiful, like the 10 out of 10 you are. Now, I heard there are some viral TikTok trends that we're about to be checking out. I'm gonna pass this over to Diana. Thanks, Diana. Welcome to What's Trending. I have been dying to do TikTok food trends for the longest time because I really wanna eat on set, okay? I'm out here working all day. I want a satisfying snack. So, I'm sure you've seen the TikTok of the woman who says baby carrots are like potato chips. I watched her video and I watched her satisfying bite of her baby carrot and I was like, is it really taste like a chip? I'm gonna find out. We're gonna do exactly what she does. Before I get moving in this, I got these plates from Target, these little heart-shaped plates. And I thought they were so cute and I'm gonna put the link below because aren't these so cute for Valentine's Day? Anyways, first ingredient in making TikTok trend potato chips, baby carrots. Your girl is skeptical. This is a fair amount to try without wasting them, right? Like, I'm gonna still have to eat all these carrots, so I hope this tastes like good, you know? Then she takes a lemon, and she has a super cool lemon squeezer, but I couldn't find that at the store, okay? I always find it so satisfying oh, to cut a lemon. Like, I don't know what, <laughs> what that says about me, but I love when you cut fruits with the skin. <laughs> Heaven. Right now is when we're gonna place bets. Do you think that this is actually going to taste like a potato chip? Squeeze the lemon juice all over the carrots. I really hope this works because I'm like literally starving. I think I did an adequate job. She really squeezed it out. I don't want to be adequate. That's amazing. Step two, Ooh, let me discard. Discard pile. Step number two, she takes out this giant salt shaker of Himalayan salt and, and goes like this. So let's all just pretend I'm doing that because I literally went out and bought Himalayan salt today. Because everyone says it's also like super good for you, like your body. And you know what? I know they're telling the truth because I used to work on a cruise ship I was performing in Jersey Boys on a cruise ship and in the spa, when we were allowed to go to the spa, they had a whole Himalayan salt room where you would just sit in the salt room and feel balanced. So if that plus lemon plus carrots equals chips, I will feel balanced. You got that right. Okay, some Himalayan salt. Who knows if that was enough? Who knows if that was too much? Last but not least, the pepper. She takes out this huge pepper grinder and grinds pepper. So I'm gonna do that too. That was right on the mic. Gotta put some pepper. If this tastes like a potato chip, I'm feeling so skeptical. If this actually tastes like a potato chip, I'm gonna go to the gym today. Here we go. I feel like this is a great one to try, right? It's got lemon juice, salt, pepper, and a baby carrot. Ready? It's really good. It's really good. Wait. I'm comparing it with my Lay's chip. Okay, here's how I feel about it. It is a salty, juicy, crunchy snack. And the only difference is this one isn't juicy. Like when you have a potato chip, it's just straight salt, right? Like I'm having this crunch and the salt and the bite. But when I have the baby carrot, I love it. I genuinely love it. 
It's like, it's a, you're eating, you're eating a salty carrot, but I would make myself a bowl of these over grabbing the chips. If you're looking for a healthy alternative, I honestly, look, I'm, I'm still eating it. It's really good. I don't even know how to describe it. If you're looking for a healthy alternative and you need to kick your Lay's habit or your chips habit, it's giving crunch. It's giving the salt you want. The lemon actually pairs with it so well. I was fully expecting to hate this and be like, this is not a chip. But I get what the hack is trying to do. It's a healthy alternative to chips that tastes really good. And you're getting that salty fix. Like, mm, 10 out of 10. And I'm not being sponsored by carrots. This is my real opinion. Okay. Thanks for coming on this experimental food journey with me. We're gonna call it Cooking with Diana. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's get to the part you all love, the giveaways. Right over to you, Diana. Thanks, Diana. That dress looks so good on you, by the way. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Olive and June. They have sent over a bunch of different print nail designs that are gorgeous. And these are only the ones that I can hold in my hand. Olive and June also sent over nail polish that I will also be sending with this giveaway as well. As always, I announce the winner in the Hype Squad community. As soon as this episode airs, I will be announcing it. Thank you for watching. I love you. Say it back!